and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Butterfly. We're here on Minecraft. This is Minecraft Monday. And as you can see, we're in a place that's a little bit different than usual. The game plan for today's video is to go ahead and make the second pond in the base. It's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. But as you can see, we are very far from home. If you look at the coordinates in the top left hand corner there, if we take a look in the inventory here, we uh we were trying to collect fish i was i was trying to get the fish so we could have that all set and ready to go because uh i was i was really excited to go ahead and jump into this second build but instead we got stranded in the ocean i found a little patch of land here if we do go ahead and take a look out here hope that nothing's out here to try and get us but uh we have a village over there we have a jungle over there and of course we have a pyramid actually we're a little bit far from home but this is episode 19 of the let's play series and this is this is where we're starting out here so i thought i'd go ahead share this little experience with you guys as the first one that i found of one of these i didn't really have it on recording here we go we have uh some sand it's always nice to have sand bones we need those so we could bone meal all the moss back at home we have some gold now it is great that i kind of remembered what this whole little tactic is to go ahead and get this stuff a little bit quicker into my inventory we have a book and paling okay not bad a lot of bones in this chest i like it i like it Let's go ahead and get rid of the sand then. Interesting. So we had a enchantment book. That's about it. And a little bit of iron, but whenever we get back home, whenever that may be, uh, I'll actually show you guys all the iron that I got. I got a little bit of digging going on off camera. And so we have a nice enchanted diamond shovel. We have an enchanted pickaxe now. I should have made this diamond, but of course I only have six diamonds and I'll show you guys the rest of the resources when we're back. But these here are the fish. Of course, you will be able to see them here whenever we do put them into the pond. But as for right now, these are all the names. And of course, yes, we did get a clownfish. You, you gotta have a clownfish. We got the puffer fish last time we went ahead and made the first pond. So, but as you can see, if we jump onto the top here, this is the surrounding land that we have. Like I said, I was out there getting all these fish that we have and it was just eventful. I got completely lost. I wasn't paying attention to the coordinates and just kept on going and going and going, thinking I was going the right direction. And of course we weren't. The bunnies here scare me. They have red eyes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and head back to the water here. I'm going to work on getting back to home. And we will go from there. But I thought I'd go ahead and share this little pyramid treasure hunt with you guys. And of course, I'd like to go ahead and say, if you guys haven't gone ahead and checked out the previous episode of this Let's Play series, episode 18, where we went ahead and made it possible to get to the top of the wall of the kingdom to overlook all the beautiful land and all the beautiful creations that we've gone ahead and created thus far. I'll have a info card up in the top right hand corner of the screen right now, as well as it'll be down in the description below. So if you guys would like to go ahead and check that one out, it'll be there. All right, so as we're kind of nearing the home, once again, I saw the nether portal up here, the one I actually intend to use. And of course we have phantoms, terrifying, terrifying, terrifying. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's a spider jockey. That's kind of cool. Oh, oh my gosh. I got a double hit. Oh, there's two up there. Yeah, I really have not slept in a hot minute. Oh my gosh. We're not dying here. We are not dying here. No, 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 no. Anyway, as I was trying to say, which I know I'll probably get interrupted in the meantime of saying all this, but I'd like to go ahead and say previously here on the Let's Play series in episode 18, there was actually a lot of love and support on that video. So I highly appreciate that. Thank you guys for all the love and support. It's 100%, 110% greatly appreciated. And I just want to go ahead and pinpoint a comment that I thought would be a great topic to touch on here. This comment here from Lockett. 
saying that there should be signs with subscriber names. Now, I did try to reply to as many comments as possible, but this is one comment in particular that stuck out the most. And I'd like to go ahead and say I have thought about something similar to this. I don't want to actually go ahead and just do every new subscriber or anything like that, because I'd like to say that not everybody really wants their personal information or kind of be called out like that. I kind of have a alternative idea that I'd like to go ahead and pitch. So if you guys are interested in this idea or think it would be cool at all, definitely let me know. But the idea is instead of doing just every new subscriber or anything like that, because like I said, not everybody wants to be called out. Not everybody wants their name out there or any of that jazz. My idea is if you would like to actually have your name on a sign, which I don't have the build yet. I have one in mind for if this is actually to go down. But if you guys would kind of like to have your name on a sign here in the Let's Play world, then I'll go ahead and build this huge area that has all these signs and everything. But all the requirement is is you commenting very frequently like if i see you comment on say this episode and next episode and you're just a returning individual that is constantly here for the let's play series and i know that then i'll go ahead add your name to a sign and you'll kind of get this little mini shout out so if you guys are interested in that definitely let me know down in the comments below because as i said pocket does have a great idea there it's just i don't think that everybody wants to kind of be called out and all that jazz so if you guys would like that idea of having the returning comments and all that to go ahead and then have your name added to a sign then definitely let me know down in the comments below i'm very happy to go ahead and make a huge build where it has all your guys names out there on these signs so i can go ahead look at them many time that i'm doing stuff off camera and kind of just add that little thing to the world that brings more of a smile so let's go ahead and kind of continue on with today's project now that we're finally home it didn't take as long as what i actually thought but as you can see i did do very small things here when i had added more of these bushes my intentions for this build here are kind of having like a nice little palm tree like thing i, I know it's i know it's kind of weird but I'd like to have like a little mini island here in the middle with a little bit of sand here. And then this is going to go down, of course. And then we will be working on creating a tunnel underneath the tree. And I have an idea for that as to how we're going to kind of merge these two together because these are going to be very different. This will be all mossy and super bright and vibrant and colorful and kind of that little stranded beach idea with the little mini palm tree will... Not many. I, I'm not entirely sure how I'll create that palm tree, but you, you get the gist. You get the gist. And of course, we'll have just a lot of moss everywhere. If you do notice here, which you probably notice as I was standing there and all these little particles, I do have two of these little flowers here, one there and of course one here and i just thought it was kind of cool i don't think they actually do anything or cause any harm to anything here. I thought it'd be kind of cool. It's a nice little addition to everything has all these particles makes it look very mystical and magical in a way but if you do also notice here i'll actually go ahead but as you can see i did add a little bit of that carpet moss to the walkway here i thought it looked very nice and i might actually mix in some stone and some other stuff here kind of break it up a little bit more because it was just looking too clean so i thought i'd go ahead and share that as well that's basically it i didn't do anything too major off camera but we'll go ahead and also check out the chest here oh we do have this cake we do have this cake because i did purchase from our one villager uh this cake so i could go ahead and level that villager up to get the golden carrots which I ran out while I was out there venturing around. As you can see, we have quite a bit of iron now. I could actually go ahead and make another anvil to kind of keep things even out there, which I might do that here soon, but a little bit more resources. I traded a little bit more with the villager. We actually have eight diamonds. I forgot that I actually did find an extra two there, but that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy, nothing too major. Just a little bit of off-camera digging and all that jazz. And of course, I have these two enchantment books, which are kind of strange. I'm not entirely sure how I got a sharpness one, a piercing, and a projectile protection on a book. But I guess that's just the cards I was dealt. And I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing with that. I might just 
wash it off and get rid of the enchantments. But I guess that's actually enough uh, jibber jabber here. If we go ahead and take a look in the chest, we have all these moss blocks, which are going to be a very big part of this build. And then we even have the stuff to go ahead and create a geode because what I'd like to go ahead and do is utilize a geode design as kind of like the merging point between these two ponds. So that's kind of what the entire tunnel is going to be. I'm going to try to add some little crystals in there and all that jazz. Not entirely sure how that'll work out. We'll, we'll try our best. As you can see, we also have an adult gold axolotl very cool but i'm not entirely sure that'll be adding this axolotl into the pond i believe that axolotls can jump and they kind of like crawl out of the water and all that so i don't want the axolotl to kind of jump out and venture off and kind of get away and somehow get hurt and possibly die so i'm gonna try and save the axolotl for maybe like an aquarium type of design at some point i'd like to go ahead and create like some sort of tube design somewhere some some place i'm not entirely sure and kind of have a bunch of axolotls added in but i think finally now that's enough jibber jabber i'm gonna go ahead clean out my inventory here and we will finally go ahead and get started with today's build I'm not entirely sure what i'd like to start with first but i guess we could actually just start with the water and i actually don't have any water i might have to make another bucket I might have to make another bucket. I might actually have to make a couple buckets because uh, we need to collect the other fish as well. Let's go ahead here. We're going to get all this water and we're going to fill up the fill up the pond. All right, so strangely enough, that's already looking really good. I'm not entirely sure how or why, but just as a one deep pond, I don't know, that, that's looking pretty good. All right, now we're kind of just going to make it a little bit deeper here. Alright, so now I think I kind of have the layout of the pond going. We're going to have to work on the tunnel there soon. I think as for the layout of the pond, this is looking pretty good. Might add some extra sand here, kind of going down on this little island, I guess you could call it. We're going to go ahead, collect the other fish here, and then I will work on the tunnel. And then we'll actually work on that pond. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead, hope for the best that this works out in my favor and try to work on a nice little tunnel shape for between these two ponds.
All right, so we're kind of done with the tunnel there. It was quite a struggle, I'll say. I really don't know how to form a tunnel, but I just tried my best. I mean, I, I think it holds a pretty good tunnel shape for the most part. I, I don't know. I kind of like it. But now we have to go ahead and add all of this jazz to kind of create that geode in between there. And then what I think I'm going to do, since I don't have a whole ton of that stuff, and I don't want to really make the entire tunnel a geode, I think I'm going to kind of like blend some of the stuff from each pond halfway into the tunnel. Kind of just blend most of the stuff together. So we're going to continue to do that. So now we're going to go ahead and get to working on this here geode area. It's going to be a little bit difficult with all this running water. I think we have the outer ring here pretty well established. I'm going to go ahead and probably put some here as well along that rim. I think I'm just going to do a nice thin layer of this, not bulk it up. Maybe we'll just go, go wild with it. Go crazy. I know this isn't like actually accurate to what a geode looks like, but I don't know. I think if we just kind of go wild with it here a little bit, it might still look pretty good in the end. All right, that might be a little too much, but we do still have 30 more to go ahead and add to the other side. And I'm thinking it's looking pretty good, actually. Now the crystals, they're going to be a hard part because I don't even know if I could place the actual crystal itself in here all right well so far it's looking really good i'm liking it it's just now we need more amethyst well let's go ahead and actually get started on the other side of this here quick now this side the problem with this side is actually is because it's already a little bit tighter than the other side i'm gonna probably have to break more blocks now i'm hoping that i have enough down there Let's go ahead and get more of this stuff for right now. This is looking pretty good. We'll probably plop some in there. I don't know. I'm not leaving much of a gap here on this side for the calcite. So might spread some of this out here or push some of this calcite on this side back so we could actually add more amethyst in. The problem is I'm trying to make it a little too much like an actual geode but just a little bit thicker on the outer edges and everything. And it's just not really working in my favor here. It's kind of difficult. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to go ahead and say, as you could probably see in my inventory there, we now have a diamond pickaxe. And that's because, of course, I was going ahead collecting more calcite and basalt, as well as the amethyst blocks, just going to town on that iron pickaxe, you know? And... I just wasn't paying attention to the health bar left on it. Oh, not messing with those guys. Oh, yeah. So I wasn't paying attention to the health bar there. And so now the iron pickaxe is chalked. So now I'm going to go ahead, kind of grind for a little bit of XP here real quick so I can get some enchantments on this diamond pickaxe. So yeah, it kind of sucks. I, I really wish I was paying attention to that, but it's all good. We now have a diamond pickaxe. We could always just get more diamonds and diamond of course lasts a lot longer. So we should be set. We should be set. All right, now let's go ahead, slap a good old enchantment on this bad boy. One more level would get me efficiency too, though. So I might try to get that, see what I can get with it. I want to go ahead, get this project done because I'm excited to see the end result, which I might actually have to take out the floor here and then just work on the floor later because, of course, we do still have to wait for this project and i'd like to have the tunnel at least created for my pond oh we only got efficiency so that's not bad but we'll just have to make sure we keep an eye on this one let's go ahead on over to the other side then 
spruce this side up just a bit. All right, I think that looks pretty good there. Maybe just, I don't know. I always say it looks good and then I still keep adding to it. So it's good, but at the same time, it could always use more. I'll just kind of plop some of these blocks in here. Even though I only have 10, which kind of sucks, but got to work with what we got. I don't want to break the entire farm that I have going right now. It's not a whole lot of amethyst, but I mean, it also doesn't look terrible. So I, I don't know. I kind of dig it. And I'll probably just mine out some of the floor to my enchantment room. That way I can kind of keep this build going. I might actually have a little more than necessary here. Okay, and bam. Is that it? Is this cave finished? I mean, it's lacking a little bit of amethyst up top, so I might actually place some extra ones. Is that looking good? Honestly, I'm really liking that. Kind of just chilling up here, looking down in there. I know I don't have this dirt finished yet, but if we go down in here, it's just... Nice little geode. I definitely made this basalt side a lot thicker than the other side, but it still looks pretty good overall. What I'd like to go ahead and try to do is get all this water nice and still and then try to plant the crystals down here because I'm not entirely sure if running water could ruin the crystals and like cause them to break off or any of that. And I'm not entirely sure if I could even stick crystals in the water in general, but we're gonna try. This is gonna be really tedious as I only have so many buckets and I gotta keep coming back up, going back down in, come back up. Since this is so tedious and such a timely process, I don't think I'm gonna bore you guys too much with this. So I'll probably skip around here and there. All right, so now we're Pretty much done with all this. Sad to say that I can't put crystals in water or on these at all. I didn't know that. Thought I could, but apparently not. So now we just have sea pickles through everything, which I'm completely fine with that. It looks nice. But so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just stick all this moss through here and get this pond on a roll here. All right, and now we are back. I've acquired the sea pickles necessary for the build, and we're gonna keep on trucking. Let's go ahead, find some pockets in here. We could add some more in. Little three there, and the last two. 
I think that should be pretty good. I dig it. I dig it. Let's go ahead here. Gonna try my best to make a palm tree. I don't know how well this will actually turn out, but... definitely on the droopier side of palm trees but for the most part i think it might look pretty solid Let's take a look here honestly not half bad all right let's kind of add some of these bad boys here add a little bit more arch to the tree actually we'll just add them on the bottom half i think that looks a little bit better there yeah that's looking good Honestly, not bad. I really like this. This is looking good. I'll even stick one back here. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's looking. That's looking banger. All right. Now is all the water sources in check? Is everything good to go? Are we ready for this? I do believe so. Okay. No, wait. No, we're not ready for this. We need to go ahead and build another dock. Yes, yes, yes. So I'll need to go ahead and get the trap doors then. No big deal. We'll do one there, one there. Shovel it, shovel it. One there. Shovel it. Slab and slab and... Oh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, leave it to me. Leave it to me to stand on the fire. There they... Okay, there's one dark oak trap door. Oh my gosh. You know, we're just gonna go ahead, venture out here. We're gonna get ourselves some more dark oak. Let's go ahead, now that I've made the signs in the trap door and slap these babies on, finally finish this dock here for, what is that? Bam, bam. Now all we may need here is instead of having these torches lay around, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the fence posts, make more dark oak fence posts, and we're gonna slap some of these lanterns around here. All right. Now, if we go ahead and kind of try to get an aerial view here just a little bit. Now, before the fish are added in, is everything final? I'm digging it. Wow, this is a good looking one. This is just nice, bright, vibrant colors here and there. And it still has that overgrown look. Probably could have used sea pickles right in that spot. It's looking a little bit dark, but other than that... It's looking banger. Plop the fish back in. We have the black tang, the yellow tang, the dotty back, the emperor red snapper, and of course the puffer fish. Welcome back home. Will they venture down into the depths of the geode though? Oh, they already are. Okay, sweet. We'll start with the, with this one, the queen angel fish. You guys haven't seen these fish yet, so I'm kind of trying to get an angle of them, but this one must be scared. And swam away. There you go. It's kind of like a green and blue one that I picked. Then we, of course, have the clownfish. Everybody knows what a clownfish looks like. The ane anemon. I don't really know how to pronounce that one, but I just thought it looked really cool wherever it went. Right there you go. A bluish orangish color. I thought it would look really cool. Then we have a thread fin. 
one that kind of looks the same as most of them, but it's a yellow and a whitish silverish color. And a Moorish Idol, kind of like a whitish gray. Kind of like white gray and a little bit of like a darker gray or like a navy blue in a way it kind of looks like. I thought all these fish looked very cool and I thought they'd be very fitting in the more coral reef overgrown junglish looking one and like i said earlier i'd like to add the axolotl in but i just don't want to risk the axolotl jumping out and getting lost in anything and then also getting hurt so we'll just save the axolotl for like an aquarium build and hope that that goes in our favor and nothing bad can happen in that as well but if we venture down looks like all the fish are enjoying the geode more than anything they're all just chilling down here very cool very cool overall very nice build i'm very satisfied with how this one turned out i'm gonna have to say the other one is probably my favorite of the two though just because of course it came first and i, I just kind of like the swampy look of the other one and i like i like the original fish that we chose i wanted to kind of try to mix up the fish a little bit but there's only so many that you can pick and choose from i kind of like the first batch of fish a little bit more can't tell the second batch any of that i mean this is this is the build we got a nice little pond here it's very bright and vibrant a little bit of coral reef stuff in there nice little deserted island kind of vibe with the palm tree and the little bit of sand in there and of course we have our dock propped up again and aside from that we have some of the, these moss blocks and all that jazz and Overall, it looks pretty pretty solid. Kind of just stick our head down in here. Yeah, they're all just piled up chilling. Really like that. It's really cool. But I think the geode was a nice little touch. Really glad I went ahead and decided to add a tunnel into this build. And allow the fish to kind of venture between whatever pond they wanted to. Like I said, I kind of like this one a little bit more because of the f things like the fountain. The fish that we chose first. These little rock pieces that come up, which I know we could add to the other one, but I just kind of wanted to try my best to keep both builds as separate as possible. So the other one's kind of like the coral reef vibe, and then we have just the overgrown swamp kind of vibe over here with this one. And I think it all looks pretty good. Pretty solid. Really dig it. But of course, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. And like I said earlier in the video, if you guys would like me to go ahead and do a little build where there's just a bunch of signs that possibly have your name on it, definitely let me know. Like I said, what I'd like to go ahead and do is if you're a consistent commenter on the Let's Play videos here, then I'd like to go ahead, make a personalized sign with your name on it and add it to a build somewhere, which I'm probably going to work on the main build of it off camera and then just go ahead and present it to you guys but first i'd like to go ahead make sure that you guys would like that to happen before i do go ahead and go through with it and like i said locket did have a very good idea there with the subscribers and all that jazz it's just like i said earlier i don't want to go ahead putting just anybody's name out there because people probably don't want their information out there too often and they don't really want to be called out so i'd like to go ahead and just kind of personalize it to those who actually want their name on a sign pretty much the whole gist of it is if you're a consistent commenter and i see you comment on a couple of let's play videos very consistently and you're kind of like a returning viewer here on the let's play series then i'd like to go ahead create a sign personalized for you in the whole build and all that jazz so once again if you guys would like something like that definitely let me know down in the comments below that's it for today's video though hope you guys did enjoy this one and of course, if you guys enjoy Fortnite, definitely check out the previous video on the channel, which was supposed to be Fortnite Friday, but it was a little bit of a day late. I actually put it up on Saturday, so if you guys would like to go ahead and check that one out. Went ahead, jumped into a zero build, and of course a build mode as well with Darth Vader. Some very good games going on in there, so if you guys like Fortnite and you'd like to check that one out, link will be down in the description below as well as here in the outro. That's it for today's episode. Hope you guys did enjoy, and of course, as always, spread love radiate positivity, and try to smile. See ya.